Hey everyone, Suxidu here from OnlineFitnessBusiness.com and in today's video I'm going to walk you through 11 ways that you can grow your email list and start making more money and getting more clients from email marketing today. Before we dive into the content, don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to the channel by clicking the button wherever the hell it is below me. Uh, and then when you click subscribe, click the little bell and you'll get notified every time that I post a new video. So before we dive into these 11 ways that you can grow your email list, there are two things that I want to go through. Number one, why? Why would you even grow your email list? Uh, and number two, what the flow looks like to getting somebody on that email list and then eventually helping them to become a client. Which leads me back to point number one. Always remember that we're not trying to grow our email list for the sake of growing our email list. We're trying to grow our email list so we can grow our business. We're trying to generate leads, generate clients, help people, add value, um, and like I said, ultimately, generate more revenue and grow your business. So always just have that in mind. As simple as that sounds, people get lost in trying to grow their email list. We're trying to grow your client list. And I'll walk you through ways to make sure that that is happening in the process of growing your email list in just a moment. And then the second part, the flow, as I've just mentioned, we need to take people from somewhere like social media, drive them to a landing page, and this is where they can get that free thing of value from you in exchange for their email address. So you've probably been on one of these pages before, you enter your email address, click submit, they send you the free thing, you're then on their email list, you receive their emails, right? Um, and then a few steps that people often miss, what should happen at that point is you click submit, you've given your email address, you should then be sending people to a thank you page. On that thank you page, what I like to do, which is really simple, is a video just like this that says, hey, congratulations, your free thing is on its way to your email inbox, but before you go and check it out, if you would like to get results quickly and make your chances of success more likely, fill in the application form below for a free consultation. Make that offer there and then. If somebody's in that frame of mind where they're just looking for a solution, they'll take you up on that offer. So it's prime real estate, it's a really great opportunity. Take advantage of the fact that somebody's proactively looking for help so offer it to them. And then the other thing that's going on is obviously they've given you that email address, they should be dropped into an automated series of emails. The first one saying, hey, here's your free thing. Over the next few days, I'm gonna send you some helpful emails, look out for them, whitelist this email address so you don't, so I don't end up in your spam. And then over the next few days, help them, add value, tell your story, make an offer. And then just drop them into your general email marketing, broadcast your newsletter, and I'll do a second video soon talking about how to effectively write emails so that we can generate clients, help people, um, and just effectively use email marketing in our business. Okay, so the 11 things. I'm gonna walk you through 11 ways to grow your email list now. Just remember on all of them, they have to be specific to your audience and what they actually care about and want. They have to be valuable. They have to be easy to consume. They have to actually provide a result or a positive outcome for the person who gets it. Um, I think that's pretty much it. So the first one, the classic ebook. And I'm gonna bunch loads of different things into the ebook category. Cheat, cheat sheets, checklists, actual digital books. Um, remember, easy to consume, so keep them relatively short. Guides, recipe books, whatever that may be. The reason ebooks still continue to work so well is because they're, they're easy to consume, they can be super specific, and people get them immediately so they can get them right away and consume it right away and get a quick win from them. Number two, video content, right? Make some of your content gated. I love creating what's called a VSL. So a VSL, also known as a video sales letter, basically is 20, a 20 to 30 minute video with loads of value, genuinely try and help people. And then at the end, make people aware of how they can get more help from you and apply to work with you. That's it. So a recorded video training is another great thing to give away from free, really high value. Often requires more time from the person that's opting in and sometimes that can be a bit of a barrier, but if they're really keen to find the solution to their problem, then they're far more likely to not only become a new, uh, an email subscriber, but a client as well. So that's number two, a recorded piece of video content. Number three, competitions. Offer people the chance to win something, this is pretty self-explanatory, in exchange for giving you their email address. Number four, live webinars. Live presentations, live videos online, live online events that people can opt into, attend live. Similar to your video sales letters, um, a presentation that's loads of value and at the end, let people know how they can then go on to get further help uh, and apply to work with you. Quizzes are also a really effective way. People can go through a, a series of questions that are logic-based and provides them with an answer to their quiz. Uh, it could be, you know, what type of workout is best for you, and then you ask them, how long can you train? How many days a week can you train? What do you enjoy? And then it provides a specific outcome. Really great at the minute. Calculators, another one. Macro calculators are really common, um, working out 
your calories for gaining muscle, losing weight, whatever it may be. Content upgrades, if you're creating really great content, then create an upgrade or create a specific cheat sheet, a checklist for that piece of content, or maybe just turn that content into a PDF and give people the opportunity to download it in exchange for their email address. If you're already creating amazing content, then just tell people to join your newsletter. This won't be as effective for most of you, but if you already have a great reputation of creating great written content especially, then people will just join your newsletter to receive more of it. I can't remember what number I'm up to because I've stop saying the numbers, but I'm pretty sure I've got three left. Free trials, so if you can afford and have the capacity to give people full access to your full coaching or full service for free for a set period of time, then that can be a great way to really show people how you can help them by actually helping them for free, uh, and then provide you with an opportunity to sell to them or sell them into your full service at the end of their free trial. And obviously we collect their information in order for them to opt in to that free trial. Second to last one, free challenges, free programs, um, free meal plans. So not quite your full service, but giving people an insight into what your full service could look like. So this could be a five day free challenge, a seven day free challenge, they're both really popular right now. A free training program, again, just giving people an insight into what working with you could look like. So these are extremely valuable, but require more input and effort from the person that's giving you their email address. But like I said, we're growing our email list, providing something of extreme value, and if those people actually go through that free program or free challenge, and they're far more likely to become a client at the end of it. And the final one, surveys. Ask people to complete surveys. This is a way to not only grow your email list, but do uh, market research, get feedback, and you have an opportunity to sell at the end because if some, somebody provides you with really great insight into where they're at filling in the survey, send them a thank you video that says, hey, thanks for filling in the survey. Here's a bit of advice based on what you told me. Uh, if you'd like to get any more advice or see if I could help, email me back. Simple as that. Now, I'd just like to reiterate that growing your client list is more important than growing your email list. However, email marketing can be so effective in growing your business. That's because the people on your email list have already taken that extra commitment. They're not only consuming your stuff on social media, but they've given you their email address, they're shown interest, and click-through rates are much higher in email. Consumption rates, actually consuming the content, are much higher via email, and people are just far more open to receiving offers in their email inbox than they are um, to being sold to on social media. So start growing your email list. I'm gonna do another video talking to you about how to effectively write emails that help people and grow your business. So keep an eye out for that. In the meantime, let me know below if you are doing email marketing. If you're not, start. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And let me know what you think about the different backdrop today.